here. Fishy, 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 fishy. Come on. Come on. Well, looks like no luck today. We need to go feed our cattle. Let's get to it. So our cattle's been neglected these last few days. They definitely need some feed. Even though they do have grass, I like giving them a little uh, TMR just to help uh, their calves and their milk process out. Let's hop over the fence here. Jump into our feed wagon here. Start this old girl up. We are pretty lucky that we have a feed wagon at this feed lot. We got a great deal on this uh, feed truck. Feed these cattle. Come on, come eat. All right, now we gotta go into our other pen right here. I've been considering putting a different lot. Don't know if I'm going to do it. So basically, I, I think I wanna get into uh, dairy. Uh, these cattle are doing good, but I think I'll just sell these cattle off, get some uh, Holsteins or some dairy cattle, and uh, start making some milk here. There we go. Got that done. But I've had an eye out on a uh, big building. I've been trying to contact the contractors to get it done. We'll, we'll see if we can, uh, if it's feasible or not. Gotta shut this gate before they run out. Doesn't take me long to feed. Now the job is, is basically, I want to get our uh, combine ready. If you don't know, our uh, beans are pretty close to getting ready. Yeah, they're not far away over here. So, luckily for us, so it looks like they are on their last growth stage. They are doing macklin good germination no issues here look at all them pods it's a lot of money sitting there so what we need to do is get our uh, harvester ready then I would like to chop some loads of uh, silage off of our field there just because we didn't get much hay this year so I have serviced this combine, just have to go get the header out. I think I'm gonna go start up the Dodge, pull that header out here and pull it in front of the shop, grease it up and everything, and then hook it up to the combine. A good old work truck here. We did pick up a chopping head right there. So we're gonna hook that up to our chopper. Just get some loads. Uh, if you don't know, we had uh, bad rain damage on all of our crops of hay, so we kind of need something. We're going to have to chop some of our uh, corn off, so that way we can uh, be more productive. There we go. Back this old girl up. I'm on the lookout for a good uh, grain cart. Haven't really found one yet. I know Jim got him a new grain cart that's probably too big for our operation. I don't know if we'll be able to borrow that one or not, so I kind of like to find my own grain cart, but kind of need a smaller one than Jim has. Here we go. Pull this in front of the building here. I think we will just leave it right there. Pull this truck over to the side. Alright, so now we need to grease this up. Need to go find my grease gun. It's over here somewhere. Alright. Gotta lube the chains. Uh, make sure the belt is tight. This is a draper head. It's not the biggest draper head, but it's still a draper head, that's for sure. Alright. Make check our hoses here. Make sure they are in good condition. 
This is a newer head, definitely a newer head than their uh, harvester is over there, but gotta still check them hoses. You never know when they might be rubbing somewhere. So now I want to get this harvester running a little bit, even though it's nice and hot out today. It is hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's going to be odd chopping later on today, that's for sure. Not used to chopping in this amount of heat. Make sure this thing doesn't overheat. Let it warm up a little bit, or uh, warm the oil up at least a little bit. And we will start heading out. Take it nice and slow here. All right, now we're gonna lower this. Make sure this thing is uh, running correctly. There we go, now it's running. Gotta unfold it correctly. I do like how these tires run here. And this draper head works pretty nicely, that's for sure. Got a lot of soybeans. I think we may be helping out uh, Jim with his harvest he's definitely got a pretty big uh, a lot of fields to do we are blessed to have this uh, 9650 that's for sure it's a little bit big and nice for our operation but oh well just like our uh, feed truck over there we are just blessed to have it all right so we're gonna shut that off everything's hooked up we are ready to go come this next few days all right so now that the our harvester is ready to go. We should be ready for soybeans here come the next week or so, hopefully. Still got to look out for a uh, good uh, grain cart. Just like to pick one up. So we need to start this old new hauling up. So we're going to chop some of our corn down. Oh man, this thing is dead. Shoot. All right, so we're going to have to jump this. Oh, guess we'll get the dodge over here, jump this. All right, get this over there. Nice and close. All right, open up the hood. All right, get this thing jumped in. Going to have to leave that be for a little bit. So we did pick up a corn head this thing, or chopper head, I should say. So this thing is really small. But, it'll work for us. That chopper isn't the biggest, if you don't know. Uh, let's see. I guess when that is uh, charging, I need to finally put away my uh, the mower here. So I'm trying... I think I'll just park it right there so I can put my 4440 away. Actually, I think I'll use this to haul uh, the wagons around. Thing starts up like a dream. Cousin isn't going to help us out today because we're just doing kind of odds and ends. I'm not going to get too much chopping. Uh, I like to get maybe five loads, depending on how much of that field I chop down. So, wasn't actually planning on chopping uh, corn silage. So, that is kind of unfortunate. So, it wasn't really figured into my budget. It's going to be a little bit tight, that's why I'm trying to limit as little as possible to make it through the winter. So we are going to get over here and hook up to one of these wagons. There we go. Let me back this up a little bit. Hooked up now. I'll pull this away. Alright, so we'll get this over here. I plan on just pulling the wagons behind the chopper. Uh, I think I'll just use this 4440 to uh, run them back and forth. Alright, we'll shut that off for now. Alright, so hopefully this thing will start up now. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, here we go. Hard start, but it made it. 
All right, so let's back this out of the way. Get this uh, out of the way. We gotta make sure our uh, chopper head fits on there nicely. No issues, hopefully. Scoot by our magnum there. Man, this head sure is small. But this isn't a high horsepower chopper, so it's probably just about right. Looks like we gotta go a little bit farther. Alright, so we're hooked up. So I looks like one of our chains came off sprocket down there so we're gonna have to fix that before we get into the field so we'll drive it over to our shop there luckily we just moved the harvester out of this shop so we could just drive it in and uh, work on it undercover you know it's blaring hot it's kind of odd chopping when it's this hot it's kind of weird Lower this head a little bit. All right, shut that off. All right, put blocks underneath this head so we don't hurt ourselves. Now we gotta uh, loosen the sprocket, the tightening sprocket right there. So I need a wrench over here. There we go. Gotta loosen that up. And we got to see if we can uh, get that sprocket chain over. This side looks like it's doing... This guy's good. Just this side. Alright, so that is fixed. Put all of our tools away. And this thing starts hard. There we go. Come on! Such a rough start in New Holland. It works. That's all that matters, though. So we're going to go over here and get our other... Uh, what are these... Uh, silage wagon so we're putting all this in our uh, standing harvester that's the plan anyways the master plan so it looks like the auger is going out correctly all doing good so far so gotta drive this up man I need to get that junk out of that way yeah, saw down that tree too. I'm tired of looking at my dead trees around here. I need to saw them down. This thing is in high gear and it's going as fast as it can. We're just driving around the yard. That's pretty sad. Alright, we are started up. I'm going to take a quick look around the machine, make sure I don't hear any loud knocking there. Make sure this old beast is working good. All right, I think we're good to take off. Feeding in there nicely. It's not bogging down the motor at all, so that's good. It's like we are taking about five rows at a time. Really should be taking four, looks like. It's like we're getting about 22 tons per acre. I haven't chopped much silage. I don't know if that's a really good or not. You guys will have to let me know. I don't. I don't know if how the normal tonnage for corn per acre is. Thing looks good. Everything's running really good. So we got. Still don't have half a wagon full. Got a lot to chop still. Chopping down this corn nicely so far. Chopper's a beast. Not really, it's taking only about four rolls at a time, so. It was big for its day, now it's uh, built for a small farm, let's just say. Getting a lot more silage off this corn than we were the grass. 
So it shouldn't take too much to get this. Ooh, we are full. Take this over here. Drop this wagon off. Start this old girl up. Good thing we have quick disconnects here. Alright. So we'll run over here to the wagon. Hook it up. And I think I'll pull it over to the silo. I drove on a little bit of beans there. Don't want to do that. That's for sure. Man over some of my beans. Killed some bean crop. Alright, so we will push this over. Plan is to get this started running up the silo. Start this tractor up. Starts up nicely. Start running that silo there. All right, so when that's unloading there, we will get this wagon hooked up, try to get it full. Start this girl back up. I guess we are taking about five rolls at a time here. Pick that head up. Good thing about this chopper, it can turn sharp. Needs to how small this head is. Got another load loaded here. Gotta take it down. So I don't think I'll use the 4440 this time. I think I'll just pull it myself all the way, being we by ourselves. You know, this uh, is kind of slow. Alright, move this out of the way here. Get this to the side so we can start uh, using our chopper. There we go, we'll keep it far enough away so we can still turn around there. Alright, so we are unloading in there. Should be blowing it up this big silo here. Should be making some good silage, hopefully here. Definitely never want to plug these things up because they are miserable to clean. Miserable. All right, already unloaded. All right, put the header down and start chopping again. Got to feed these cattle. So the good thing about corn silage, as long as your corn don't get completely hailed out, you can always count on at least getting some uh, corn silage off your uh, field. Alright, another load already. Doesn't take long, I guess. So, we're getting about 12 tons per load here. So, a lot of tonnage, silage tonnage for our cattle, that's for sure. We don't hardly have any hay for our cattle this year go another load in there so we just have two more loads we have to do here start it up start chopping away Another load unloading. So now we just have one more load to go. And we are done with corn silage. I know it's not a lot, but we don't have a lot of cows right now. That could change in the near future. Never know. So one more load and we are good. The 
It's nice and tight on this side, that's for sure. Whew. All right. Just got barely enough room right here. So we're still chopping away over here. So this is our last load. I was hoping to try to get this nice and squared off. Don't know if that's going to be possible because I don't think I'm going to make it back down this row. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, still got quite a bit to uh, do around the farm here. So it's not quite harvest time. It's getting close. So this corn is just almost perfect for chopping, that is. Alright, so we got just back with our wagon there, so we even up leveling it off. Jim did call, and he says he might know of a possible uh, grain cart we could purchase. That definitely heightened my interest, so I'm going to go hopefully get this unloaded and go take a look at it. Thinking with the price that they want for it, I might have to sell one of my tractors here. So I'm thinking on possibly selling our uh, 4250 over here. So have a hard time with that working for me. Uh, primarily why I'm selling that is it's a mod conflict. It's a mod conflict between the 4440 and that 4250. So I have a weird uh, air that keeps going. So I'll show you it basically. So I'll be driving along here and I stop right like this. I don't move. As you can see, 4250 is driving around and Yep, there we go. So that's the reason why I'm going to uh, probably end up getting rid of it. It's unfortunate. It's a good old tractor. But I'm going to try to get rid of it. So I'm going to hopefully trade it off for that new tractor and grain cart. Or at least help fund that new tractor and grain cart. Shut that tractor off there. There we go. Alright, so now I need to go park these. Or actually, I'll probably just leave them right here. Clean them up. And uh, get to them later. Alright. I think I'm going to take our uh, Dodge today. Just because I haven't shown it much love. No big issue other than that. Alright. So we will unfold this trailer and get our 4250 over here. I think that should be about it. There we go. I think we are good here. So I'm going to start heading this to the John Deere dealership and trade it in. Take this nice and slow. I know. Sad moment. 4250 was one of our first tractors on this farm my uncle's tractor so it's unfortunate to see it go but I like my 4440 neighbor has a uh, good looking sunflowers planted over here by me don't have no sunflowers planted myself but things look pretty good this year all right, so we are going to pull it in over here and hopefully be able to trade this old girl in. Let's go talk to him quickly. All right, the dealership gave us 30000 This is a nice combine the dealer got in here. A S770. Woo-hoo. Pretty. Pretty nice. So we need to... Uh, go talk to Jim find out where that place is exactly so I'm also gonna have to go ask for some money from the bank before I go purchase this thing so 
We're gonna go head off, talk to the banker quickly, get some money borrowed, so hopefully we can purchase this uh, new tractor and grain cart. So we borrowed another 20,000 there, so think we'll have enough. We might have to negotiate, that is all the banker wanted to give us, unfortunately, but we have to see if we can go get this thing or not. I think it's just down the road right here. Yep, should be it. This is nice and a tight white driveway, that's for sure. Uh, I think I see it. I think it's right in front of us. Huh, that thing looks pretty big, so... Man, that grain cart looks just like the one Cole the Corn Star has. Just like it. Looks like we got an old 2180 Versatile here. Hmm. Don't know for sure about this, but we will see how it works on the farm, I guess. If not, we can trade it back in. We'll see what we can get for a deal on this thing. Hmm. So... They want 65, 35 for the grain cart. The grain cart's almost new, and 30,000 for the tractor. So the tractor has about 4,000 hours on it, so it is not new. Not really, kind of broke in, I guess. A uh, little bit high hours, not too high though. So it still has some life to it, hopefully. But, hmm, that's... Uh, I think, what, why not? Let's go seal the deal. Was trying to save for a cattle barn, but uh, maybe we'll make enough during the harvest. All right, so it's ours. So let's see if this thing will start up. Sure does turn weird, that's for sure. So. Everything seems like it's working pretty good so far in here. Don't know if I can get it on this trailer or not. That might be kind of hard. Let's see if we can get it over this lip of this trailer. Oh, not hard at all. Not hard at all. This is definitely going to be a lot of weight on the back of this uh, truck. Well, it fit on there. Now we just got to get it home. Thing is giant, that's for sure. Trailer. Don't think we started turning soon enough there. Alright, so we got it out of that hairpin turn, that's for sure. Now, gotta very carefully drive it down this country road. It is not the most even, that's for sure. It's a lot for this Dodge three-quarter ton, but it's pulling it, that's for sure. This will definitely make uh, harvesting go quicker for us. Be way more efficient with this grain cart than what we would without it. Now the only thing I gotta keep an eye out is a old semi and pup trailer. I like it to, uh, that way I don't have to do it all with my uh, grain cart. So it looks like we made it back here to the farm so far. Turn right in here. It makes it this turn. I think we're home free. Thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.